Greetings one and all, this is Lloyd Brown. Welcome social media to my vlog, to my production kit part two, as promised. Um, I did put another video in between and it caused what it basically caused. I already knew that at the end of the day, but my opinions are my opinions. And I really like when people enter into dialogue because that's the only way there's some balance that can be reached. Because not everything I say is going to be right, but there are things that are a bone of contention to me and that's just one of them because I'm passionate about my trade, you know? I'm really passionate about my trade. But anyway, that's gone, that's dead and gone. We're on to the next thing. So we are into the production kit part two. And this is more or less the practical element of the two-parter where I will basically show you how some of my software that I use in my production, how they actually work. Now I did introduce you to um, Easy Drummer and all of the expansions um, within it. So, oh, and also Hypersonic as well. So let's get into it, shall we? Because I've got to set up my camera to actually shoot the screen and stuff. You don't want to see my mug all the time trying to show you something and really what you want to see is on the screen. So I'll be right back. Okay, now, as you can see, you can see the Hypersonic program up in one of my monitors. I'm using a dual monitor setup and this is the smaller monitor. Um, and I use this monitor to basically put the programs in and I use the left monitor, which is the larger screen, to actually put the timeline in so I can actually see what I'm recording and how long I'm recording it for, etc, etc, etc. So this is the hypersonic program right here. And as you can see, right, if you follow the cursor, which is on the bottom right hand screen, right there, okay so i'm going to scroll up and basically show you all of the instruments that i have as standard in every project okay now if i want to change the drums here um let me just turn my keyboard on okay so we've got the drums and we have the bass pick bass natural grand rock organ etc 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 and down here I can more or less alter the value of each specific task on each instrument so with drums level of the kick level of the snare the tone resolution hi-hat level tom level right but if I go into into the bass there's a different set of commands there okay now this part of the program is basically when you load up the instruments. When I go into edit here, these are the patch settings. So you have the sub bass there and I can actually move the octave, move it a semitone or a cent tone, um, the resolution, the attack, the delay, sustain. Uh, I forgot what, the, oh, the release. I forgot what the F stands for. So these are all factors to, to consider when you're editing your instrument of choice, okay? And that works across all of the instruments. And then if I go back into load, you know, these are basically the instruments that I can pick and choose and load. So if I wanted to use um, drum loops, for example, Right, I click on that and it's got a sub menu of all the drum loops that are available. And what's good as well is that whatever tempo you basically set the project in, it will match the tempo. It will match the tempo. Okay, right. So let's come out of that because really and truly what I want to feature is the Easy Drummer program. All right, let's put it up here. Okay, right, easy drummer. All right, here we go. Right, so this is how the easy drummer, oops, kick the tripod. This is how the easy drummer um, program looks, right? And this is a very, very handy piece of kit. Absolutely amazing piece of kit, right? So here we have, we have a picture of the drum kit, Clive, Stubble fills, 
famous drum kit okay and the thing about it is that um, you can open the grooves and on the left hand side you have got a list of all the expansions that you have in your possession which is basically loaded so this is basically the the, the mother program that you can load all your expansions in and as you can see I've got I've got my cocktail drum kit, Latin percussion, claustrophobic, like I told you in the last one, and Funk Masters as well. Okay? So, um, so let's pick Funk Masters. Okay. So now, it's got a list of drum patterns. And remember, all these are played live. Right? So, if I want to pick a straight 4-4, I pick that and it's selecting at 130 BPM which is which is standard so for example if your um, project is 75 BPM it will still match it it will match it regardless so don't let that phase you okay so what I can do I can literally just go on that and it's got 11 variation of closed hi-hat playing at a straight 4-4. Four, four. That's how deep and extensive this piece of kit is, right? So now, you can basically test them and play one. I've got to play the groove, haven't I? Right, so there's a play button. Right? And that will keep going on. If you want a variation from that, Go to two. It's got a double kick. And these are no synthetic sounds. These are the proper sounds. Okay? Live. Played by the man himself. Okay. Now this button on the right is the velocity button, which I was telling you about in previous videos. And that just basically highlights how hard the hits are, okay? So the more I turn it up, you can hear it's got more of an attack when you hit. So I'm gonna bring it down. Okay. So, the pattern is more or less settling itself. Okay, now let me close that. Now, on the left hand side, you've got the humanize button. Remember what I was telling you about the humanize button? Where if you press that button, it will basically give a random set of hits. So, you know, with the hi hat, if you're hitting the hi hat four times, it won't just hit it at a velocity of 10, 10, 10, 10. It might be 10, 6, 8, 7, to give a variation of the hits that's being performed. And that will give the impression that it's a live instrument playing. Okay? And that is the beauty about that. Now, um, another thing that I really love about this piece of kit is that you can actually, once you're happy with whatever drum loop you have, like this one, for example, yeah? You can literally just grab the variation from there, right here, and move it across to your project and put it in your project, literally. You just pick it up from here and move it, and you can drop it in, drag and drop, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful technique that you can use in Easy Drummer. And also, not only that, you've got a mixer as well. So here's the mixer, right? And the mixer will be assigned to certain tracks in your project. It doesn't all have to be from the one source. You can change it so that all of your drum kit and the mics, because you've got the overhead mics as well, 
you got the room mics, right? You got the sound of vinyl to give it that old school feel as well, right? So you can assign all of these to different tracks within your project. And then you can import all of that into the project. So let me give you an example of what can be done, right? Okay. So I'm gonna solo the room mic. Oh no, no, I'm gonna solo the overhead mic, okay? Right? That is the mic that's picking up the drums from overhead. And you can add the value up or down to give a sense of separation and to give a sense of an analog feel to the project. Okay? So let's come out, let's take it out of solo. Right, now you've got a room mic. And that's the mic that's picking up the whole room, the whole snare room. And you could bring it up. And bring it down. Okay, let's come out of solo. So now, let's go into the actual drums itself. So here's the kick drum, I'm gonna solo that. Yep. Yeah. I could pan it left or right. But why would I do that? Because the kick drum is central. But just giving you an example of what can be done. Okay? So there's so many things you can do within the program itself before you even import the drum riff or the drum pattern to the project. And not only that, let me just stop that. You can actually play each drum sound on the MIDI keyboard, as I explained in part one of the video, okay? So that's what you can basically do. Um, let me see what else here. So if you come out of this, close mixer. So basically, it's the same process, whatever I use, right? So if I go into the claustrophobic drum kit, Latin percussion, the box standard cocktail. Yeah. It will perform the same functions within um, the sets of instruments that are loaded up. It's just so many things you can do with this piece of software. I don't even have enough time to, to go into it that deep. But all I'm saying is that if you don't have a drum kit, right? or if you don't have a drummer to hand that can basically play the sessions for you that you want and you need, this is an awesome piece of kit, easy drummer, right? I will highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's an awesome piece of kit. Um, and that is more or less it. I just only wanted to feature this piece of kit because once you have a good drum sound, in my opinion, that's half the groove already. Do you know what I mean? And if people are basically minded of just having a live sound in their recordings and they don't have a drum kit to hand, you can't argue with this. Because I've actually watched videos of how this thing was made and they went into top quality studios, top notch studios to record these samples. So it is worth the investment, okay? So is with that, I'm going to bid you guys adieu for now. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And you don't know the cool, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Abstain from foolishness. And until I catch you on the next one, please, please stay blessed. Megan.